In the mind of YouTube, there's no room for sentimentality. It's completely normal for options and features to be removed, whether it's because they become obsolete and a lot of people just don't use them very often, or because a company simply feels like it. No, YouTube has no trouble getting rid of features they feel are no longer needed, and next on the list will be their inbuilt video editor as well as photo slideshows, which are scheduled for retirement in September 2017. But what about other long gone YouTube features? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Register using the link in the description to get a special offer, choose a template and theme, and have a website done in no time. Speaking of themes, I don't know about you, but I just love dark themes. Like the one YouTube has in the new layout they're testing. It looks really cool on my channel page, but you know what would be even better? If I could have any theme I wanted. Unfortunately, highly customizable channels have been a thing of a past for quite some time now. Today, there's only so much you can do to customize your YouTube channel. You can upload a banner, add different sections containing stuff like videos and playlists, and that's about it. But back in the day, YouTube used to give us much more freedom in making our channel reflect our personality and brand. Besides options for creating banners and modules, we also had the ability to manipulate the colors of our channel and even use custom images for the background. But as the years went by, YouTube decided to go with a more uniform approach to the platform and took a lot of that freedom away. Response videos have always been a thing on YouTube. These days, you know you're looking at a response video because it's usually specified in the title. But back in the day, YouTube had a native video response option. As good as the option was for contributing to topics and discussions, it would often be exploited, especially on viral videos which people would spam with responses in attempts to draw attention to themselves. The option was eventually removed in September 2013 after YouTube reported that submitted videos had a click-through rate of only 0.0004%. In the older days of YouTube, people could share content with each other in special groups. Groups would usually revolve around a specific topic and that way allowed users to easily connect with a community that shared their video interests. If a user wanted, he or she had the ability to create a group or submit a request to join an existing one. However, this feature was rolled out, possibly to clear the way for Google Plus features that the company had high hopes for at the time. Another way you could connect with people in the old days of YouTube was by adding them as friends. It was a rather comforting feature, at least for people like me who couldn't get a subscriber if their life depended on it. If you didn't have that many subscribers, at least you had a couple of YouTube friends. In 2011, YouTube decided to merge friends with subscriptions. Specifically, users had the option to add existing friends to their subscription box or just keep them as contacts. One long gone YouTube feature that would really make you feel good were honors. That is, if you ever had any. Honors represented a sort of acknowledgement by YouTube for any success you may have had. They could be received for video performance or overall channel performance. Honors for specific videos could be viewed beneath the video player, while channel honors were displayed directly on the channel. Which brings us to another long gone YouTube feature, the channel sidebar. The sidebar displayed a variety of information like the channel name, profile picture, country, date of creation, as well as honors and channel stats. Besides that, users had the ability to display a description and a bunch of related tags. It also featured a prominent subscribe button, and YouTube partners even had the option to put a custom banner on top of it. Just for fun, take a look at PewDiePie's channel sidebar when he only had 19 subscribers. Unlike most of the mentioned discontinued features, which served their purposes for a decent amount of time, branding intros barely survived a year on this platform. The feature was introduced in 2014 when YouTube gave users the ability to upload a 3 second promo clip to their channel that they could later pin to the beginning of their videos. However, the feature was discontinued the following year after YouTube reported that a number of creators expressed their preference to add their own intros during the editing process. After March 2015, users could go with one of two options, to either keep the intro on all the videos that had it, or to have it completely removed. Through the history of mankind, there have been many famous numbers or constants like pi, Euler's number, or the square root of 2. 
In the world of YouTube, on the other hand, there was a time when no number was more intriguing than the number 301. For a very long time, YouTube view counters would famously freeze once they would reach 301. Now the reason behind this was not always known to the public, so the number held a dose of mystery for quite some time. It would later be explained that the view counter froze at 301 in order to allow YouTube systems to perform view verification as a measure against view count fraud. Once the process would finish, the view counter would be updated with all the views that came in while it was stuck. The feature was removed in August 2015, but one video in particular never stopped showing the number 301, the number file video that actually explained the whole mystery. Before the world really went mobile, YouTube gave users the ability to put annotations on their videos. The annotation editor was introduced way back in 2008 and it allowed users to put links on their videos, redirect viewers to certain time frames, or simply write a message. Besides the fact that people would often overuse them, annotations had one big problem. They didn't work on mobile. Given the fact that more than half of YouTube's view traffic is generated from mobile devices, the company decided that annotations were a thing of the past. As of May 2017, users were no longer able to add new or edit existing annotations, but only delete them. They were replaced by cards and end screens, which, as it turned out, a lot of people really liked. And that brings us to the final entry on this list, the old YouTube rating system. Today videos can be rated with thumbs up or thumbs down, but back in the day we had something else, a 5 star rating system. While the system worked for the time, around 2009, YouTube realized that it was actually kind of pointless because people were mostly rating videos with either 1 or 5 stars. The 3 stars in the middle were barely ever used. Soon after, the 5 star rating system was retired and replaced with a more simplified version where people could rate a video with a like or dislike. Fun fact, while the 1 and 5 star ratings were the most commonly used in the old system, a chart from a YouTube blog post revealed that the overwhelming majority of ratings were actually 5 star ratings, which meant that back in the day, users would mostly just rate when they really liked something. And speaking of likes, I am really liking Squarespace. If you don't know, Squarespace is an award-winning online service that allows you to build websites without having to do any coding. They have some really amazing and intuitive tools that you can learn how to use in no time. There are no plugins, no updates, no patches ever. I'm currently using Squarespace to build my own website. My goal is to make a website that will be sort of an extension for the educational and entertainment content I offer here on YouTube, but you can use Squarespace to make any kind of website you want, whether it's to spread an important message, to present yourself to potential business partners, or simply to show off your portfolio. So if that's something you would like to do, you can go to squarespace.com slash chmtech in order to get 10% off your first purchase. Link will be in the video description. But that would be all for this time. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and maybe I'll even see you around again sometime. In any case, thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong. Thank you.